Have you ever felt lonely before? Perhaps at night, when you're on your bed and feeling like nothing is around you. Or perhaps at a gathering, where everyone you know is occupied with someone else, and you don't know who to talk to. Or the time when you really needed to tell someone something, but found out that there's no one there for you to talk to. The feeling of loneliness is truly a pressing issue that affects one's mental health and well-being, and it could happen to anyone. According to Statista, one in three adults worldwide has felt loneliness. Some research suggests that loneliness is associated with an increased risk of certain mental health problems, including depression, anxiety, low self-esteem, sleep problems, and increased stress. So you might be wondering, who's going to use our product? So our target market consists of young adults ranging from ages 16 to 24, especially if they live alone, right, when you're um, in your 20s as well as people above 65 years old and also people with any social disabilities or aren't as effective when communicating and interaction, interacting with others. So we believe that young adults nowadays are more susceptible to loneliness um, and the loss of social skills because of the increasingly prominent trend of spending too much time indoors and online, especially with the pandemic. We decide that our product focus is those who are vulnerable, who perhaps don't receive much attention from their parents and who perhaps don't have great connections with siblings or peers. These groups of young individuals are more likely to be self-enclosed. The elderly is also a vulnerable stakeholder too, that nearly one-fourth of adults aged 65 and older are considered to be socially isolated. And people with social disabilities tend to have a harder time communicating and making connections with others, which is why our bot acts like a learning tool for them, and so for them to be more comfortable when it comes to interactions and such. This is especially important as these groups of people are the most vulnerable to loneliness, the problem, and mental health issues. Introducing Bestie, a fully customizable, adaptable AI chatbot that offers a company, support, and spreads positive energy. Best part yet, it is accessible to all as it is 100% free and open sourced. Before we move on to the bot's function in a demo, let me answer a question that might already be on your mind. Bro, why would you talk to this robot if you're lonely? Just talk to a human, bro. That's so much better. The invention is absolutely useless. There's like 8 billion people out there. Go find yourself someone to talk to. Whoa, calm down a bit. Let me show you the comparison between talking to a human and using our product, and why specifically, for our identified consumers, our bot is a better option. So first of all, accessibility and convenience. You can talk to the bot anytime you want. You don't have to get worried about being left on sense or seen. Like imagine how off-putting it would be if you excitedly tell someone about the math test that you had and how you got 99 on it, and then you see an Okay, that's cool. After being left on stand for 17 hours, the bot responds to you almost immediately after you reply to it. Our bot is accessible to everyone in all platforms, meaning you can talk to it whenever and wherever you want, which helps significantly if you're an immigrant and your family and friends are in different time zone and when you try to talk to them, they're asleep. This is also available on all platforms to adapt to consumer needs. So for example, younger generations might prefer using Discord so our bot can adapt to new a Discord bot to adjust to that demand. On the flip side, the bot could also be used on platforms where older generations might want to use more like Facebook. Second, privacy. If you don't know yet, humans can be really toxic. Like you don't know if you can fully trust them. Like I'm sure you know incidents where you thought someone was your friend, but then do trash talk you, leak secrets, or judge you from behind your back. Like Bestie, on the other hand, would never betray you. We'll be showing you how we ensure our users' privacy later and our competitive advantage and functions. Thirdly, accessibility. The bot can adjust its talking style for the needs of different users. Like sure, for example, a teenager can talk to their parents, but what if who they really need is a friend who won't judge them when they tell them the secret? Like the bot can do that, but their parents can't. Now, let's go through a demo of how you can customize a bot yourself and how the bot works. As Eric said earlier, our product provides a safe outlet for conversation without the fear of rejection and humiliation. To ensure the privacy of our users, we have made our software entirely free and open source so that anyone with the technical know-how can run our program or even modify it to make it better. First, get the code from the GitHub repository of the product and open it up in a text editor. Should you want to add extra bots to your version of the program, simply create a JSON array of all the training data the bot will use, name the file yourbot.json, and then drag it into the bot's directory. Once you have all the bots you want, run chatbots.py to train the AI of every single bot. 
Note that the previous bot data will have to be erased to do this, which can be accomplished by deleting the file db.sqlite3 if it exists. Chatbots.py needs to be run only once, as the bot will be saved once the file has been run. Then go to main.py and set the name of one of these bots to be the default mode that the Discord bot will talk in. This can be specified in line 9 of main.py. Once this is done, create a Discord bot with all intents enabled, and set the bot's permissions to be able to speak in both channels and threads, and set it so that the bot can view channels. This will generate a valid invite link to add the bot to your server. Once the bot is in your server, paste your bot token onto line 74 of main.py, where it says token, and run your bot. Once the bot says ready to go, everything should be set to use. To talk with the bot, simply ping it or reply to a previous message the bot sent. Should you wish to change the mode that the bot is currently on, use slash mode and put in the mode of the bot you want to talk with currently. For the current mode the bot is on and the list of the modes, use slash mode list. This is everything you need to know about the bot and how to use it. Thank you so much for offering us this opportunity. And we do sincerely invite you to join us in helping people across the world to improve their mental health and well-being.